A U.S. startup has launched a portable gaming device, with a unique smartwatch design. The Retro Gaming Watch is a gaming wearable, just like a mini Game Boy SP. You can wear the Retro Gaming Watch on your wrist, and flip it open to play retro games. The developer of the Retro Gaming Watch, Jason Rogers is raising money for the device, via a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign. Features. The Retro Gaming Watch is a tiny game console, that can be worn on the wrist and used as a watch, when not playing games. The watch screen of the Retro Gaming Watch, can be flipped to reveal a mini game console. It also features hardware and software, for the emulation of classic games. The early bird rewards for the Kickstarter campaign start at $159, while the top backers will get their devices by November 2024. It is noted that the Retro Gaming Watch is not meant to play games, while it is on your wrist. Rather it is to be played when off the wrist, and it is placed on a wrist strap for use as a watch. There is a small display for basic watch functions, as well as a 1.54 inch, 320 by 320 pixels, internal LCD, with a 60 Hz refresh rate. The 1.54 inch LCD is for gaming purposes. Four action buttons are present in the Retro Gaming Watch in addition to a D-pad, a magnetometer, an accelerometer, and a single speaker. The Retro Gaming Watch is equipped with, a Renesis, Dialog DA14706 chip, with a 160 MHz application processor, and two ARM Cortex-MD processors, for sensors and Bluetooth. The gaming console also features a 2D GPU, 1.5 MB of internal memory, and 8 MB of external QSPI RAM. The device also comes equipped with an Efinix T20 FPGA, to create custom video game hardware with custom cores, to emulate popular 8 and 16-bit game consoles. The Retro Gaming Watch is therefore well suited for playing emulated classic games, with its FPGA handling the bulk of processor tasks. The developer claims that the Retro Gaming Watch, can offer up to 2 days of battery life, when used as a smartwatch, but 2-4 to four hours of playtime, for 2D games.